Hi, Eddie Bird. It's just me. It's me. We're going to surprise Rob. He's going to come in and say, what are you doing? And I'm going to say, we're live. That's what's going to happen. What is this up here? Why is there an X there? Oh, no, you don't want to do that. If you're in here, let me know. Just impromptu. Michelle's got to clean the kitchen because it's a mess. Hi, Joy. How are you? I'm cleaning my kitchen. Oh, Eric, Gabrielle, hi. Barbara, hi. Hi, hi. I'm clean. We're going to surprise Rob. He's going to come in and say, Hot Mess Express, how are you? A little bit. He's going to come in and say, what are you doing? And I'm going to say, oh, by the way, we're live. Hi, Paige family. I'm putting my dishes away, and I didn't want to do it all by myself, so I thought... Why not, why not just go live and do something fun? Do you remember me? Gabriel, okay, remind me. I, my memory is not, not good. You're going to see me come in and out, but I'm still here. Just remind me. Weather at a glance, how are you? So this is, we're, um, we're going out to dinner with my parents today. My dad got the vaccine. Um, he had this he, he, two weeks ago, and um, he's ready to go out of the house. He, he said we're going to put the trust in the vaccine, and we're going out to dinner. So he has a place that he likes. It's a little north of here, about forty-five minutes away. He likes. It's called Munja Munja. I know it's nice to get out and get a break. That will be nice. If you notice, I still can't breathe. I can't breathe, walk and talk and do all the things. So it was a fine idea to go live and not sit down. That, that's a good idea. So what are you guys doing this fine Sunday afternoon? Oh, you wanna hear a funny story? My granddaughter, she called me last night. She's like eight, eight, seven, I don't know how old she is, but anyway. She has her own cell phone, and she was at, with a friend, so she, hi Mary, how are you? So she called me last night, and she was trying to explain me to her friend, and she's like, you know, my, my Gmaw, that lady with the puffy hair. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I'm the lady with the puffy hair. That's how my grandkids see me, but that's okay. You're running in and out, Pe Peggy. That's okay, too. Oh, that didn't get very clean. Look at that. That needs to ride again. That's riding again. We have a lot of things in my house that ride again in the dishwasher. That's what just happens. I have a lot of Tupperware, too. Oh, you're getting ready for bed. Oh, yeah. 8.40 p.m. Wow. Wow. That's, yeah. Yesterday, I was in bed all day. Well, I did get up, and, and I edited a video that you're going to see this week. And then I just I went back to bed about noon. It's 12.40 there. The, it's 1.40 here. But when you guys get things out of the dishwasher, is your Tupperware ever dry? Mine is never, ever 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 dry so I just put it away wet I I don't care it's just Rob and I here probably if I was still living at home I'm sure my mother would uh, make me dry the Tupperware but I'm not doing that that one's that didn't get clean either riding again oh he can come out okay Let's see. Oh, this one can come out. Isn't this interesting? Let's watch Michelle. Oh, look at, do you see this? It says, because I'm your mother, that's why. My daughter got me that. She did get me that. <sighs> you're okay, you're watching? Okay, you just keep watching and I'll just keep talking. How's that? Is that a deal? So let's see, this week's video, 
I, I called it the world's worst cooking video on YouTube because that's what it is. Oh, Mary, thank you. You don't have to do that just because Mary donated us $20. Thank you so much. I do dishes too for my chores. Oh, do you? Well, I wish I had kids here because they would be doing this. Good morning, heavy metal chef. How are you? How are you? Gabriel, bye. Heavy metal chef. He has some really good videos over there. You guys, if you want to see some good cooking videos, head over to Heavy Metal Chef. In fact, hold on, these go across the kitchen. Hold on, coming back. Let me put these away. No way, that's a slide down. Hold on, I'm coming back. I'm coming. All right now, okay. Heavy Metal Chef, I'm going to be. Um, my plan is now I have a lot of plans, so they just take a while now to conquer is one of his videos I'm gonna like make it and see how it goes and link his actual video that that's coming all right hold on this goes across the kitchen oh here comes Rob here comes Rob we'll surprise him okay Rob we're live we're live putting the kitchen putting the dishes away you want to come say hi to the peoples He's coming. He's cleaning out his truck. Mary gave us $20. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Mary. Yeah, thank you. Rob, we're live. Oh, yeah, Rob, we're live. Oh, Rob, we're live. Surprise! Poor Rob. Poor Rob. I know. I say poor Rob all the time. Poor Rob. He has to put up with all my things. Just all my things. At least he's going to get a good meal today. We're going out to dinner. And he'll have a good lunch tomorrow because he'll probably have my leftovers. And my leftovers. Do you see this? This is stuck. We have a spoon stuck. See? We're we'll dump them on the floor. Go right ahead. Right here. We have a Maybe it'll just come out. Here. I'll just pick all these up now. We have a spoon stuck. This is a lot. How'd you get that out of there? He has skills, I guess. Is that what he's going to say? I know that's what he's going to say. I have skills. I know a guy. I know a guy. He tells me that all the time. He'll say, well, I'm like, can you fix this? And he'll say, yeah, I know a guy. I'm like, Sh shut up, because sometimes I'm like, who? Who? And it's him. Well, it's funny, because <sighs> here, here we back here, we was going someplace. We had the four-wheeler in the back of the truck. And, uh. We're driving on the road there, and I, I looked at him, looked at the rear view, looked oh, at the I'll thing, looked at the mirror, looked at that. That guy's right on my butt. Look at him, he's falling right, right, he's right, right on my bumper. He looks around. Where? Where? Oh my God! I'm looking all over the place. You idiot! It's him. He's talking about him. He likes to do. He does crap like that to me all the time. All the time, he does that to I me. I wouldn't do that. He does. It's not. Uh, it's not even. <laughs> he likes getting me. All right, trade me sides. Okay, trade sides. Why, why do you use my phone? Well, because see, I've it's got right there. my iPad. You can go on your phone if you want, but I've got the iPad. Your, I've got the iPad set up here, and it's oh, there's the Wicker Hire, the Wickershire Project. If you guys don't watch them, head down and watch them, because watch Billy Joe. He has some really good videos down there. He really does. <laughs> Billy, we're just cleaning the kitchen right now. That's all. I'm back in back out my truck, getting all the stuff cleaned out. We're gonna pick. We're we're taking the, we're taking the parents in the truck, and it's funny because Grammy can't. It's she has a hard time getting up in the truck. Well, I, I put I put a, a set of running boards on, so it should be a lot easier for her to step on the running boards before she just couldn't oh, reach that high. That's couldn't get a foot that high to get up here to climb. Now with the running boards, she can get in. She can get in. But yeah. <laughs> Don't promote us. The people will lose our brain cells. No, the Wickershire Project. You guys are good. I like watching you. And by the way, you, you're looking very good. You're looking quite handsome down there, Wilt Billy Joe. About he's been doing a lot of work. Thing. And he's, uh, he's, he's, him and his family, they've been working very hard down there. You can't even see us, can you? Here, there. Some of these dishes have to ride in because, you know, 
You make me jerk, huh? Jerk my who, what? Huh? You want to explain that? Please? That would, that's, I'm you actually in, oh, second and second round so far. You are, that is really good. That is really good. I think, I just saw a grilled cheese, you made a grilled cheese sandwich. I did see that. And, is that Peggy in there? Yeah, Peggy's in there. Rob, I got my beard shaved. You're not the only stud on YouTube. Ooh. <laughs> it won't be long. It won't be long. I'll be getting rid of this too. I'll be naked yeah. for six months. Then back to back in September, start growing it again. I trim his beard. Oh wait a minute. There's Melissa. Hi guys. I want to say I watch your videos on your shotgun shot boot ears. Oh, I lost it. How do we get that comment well, back? I can, I can bring Hold on. Rob's phone. gonna get it on his phone. You're on my i. You're in my iPad sideways. It doesn't. The shotgun shell boutonniere was really, really pretty. I don't think I ever made a video showing the end of that. My, I have a daughter. My daughter that got married. She does not want to be on YouTube. Her and her husband. And um, oh, there's the Wickershire project. Head over there. Give me a minute. I'm looking up here. That's my my daughter doesn't want to be on YouTube. Okay, Fried bologna sandwich. That sounds. Oh, that sounds good. Listen, yesterday. Videos on how to make shotgun shell boutonniere. They came out perfect. Thank you so much. Oh, good. I'm glad. I am glad. Oh, I am so happy. I am so happy. That's nice. Hers came out good too. We just didn't. She doesn't want to be on YouTube, so I, I have to respect that. So I do, I do have four kids and you'll really only see three of them, ever, see, ever. Uh, so much and help me make my wedding day a special day all, all the way from Michigan. Oh, I'm glad. I am so happy. All right. Heavy metal chef, how you doing, buddy? Back to my heavy metal chef gr grilled cheese last night. Yesterday I couldn't get out of bed all day. Hey, family. And all I wanted was a grilled cheese sandwich, so I'm thinking, so Rob made me one. It was good. It turned out good. It was my best attempt, but it was okay. It was good. There. Dishes are in. Yay. Yay me. Dishes are in. And the dog washed. Yeah. I've also been, like, buying seeds. I've been... Yeah, we're getting ready for garden season. Rob says that I, I can't plant without him. He, I, he has to be involved in the planting of the seeds this year. Well, this year we're gonna have a whole lot more peppers, hot peppers, and I, you can't mix those. You gotta get those mixed with. I mean, can't. He's afraid no. I won't label them correctly or label them at all. Did you see last year's video? Oh my <laughs> lord! Is it peppers? Is it tomatoes? Is it pickles? We Does it matter know. what it is? You're gonna eat it anyway, right? 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 I'm right. I, I am right. Rob. She wasn't far off from the mark on it. Yep. She was pretty far off. Yeah. No, I knew kind of what it was. Just well, the the, the peppers, the peppers were the big, were the little icebreaker. We had green peppers. We had hot peppers. They looked, yes, alike. They looked, looked exactly the same. Well, hold on. Oh wait a minute. Chop suey thing. Oh wait a minute. I missed that comment too. We're on my iPad we and now? I can't see. Maybe I could look on my phone. I have a lot I've of seeds. American, American chop suey. It was a garden adventure for sure. Yeah. yeah, we are real. Listen, you have to be real. There's nothing we, fake we about us are here. Real. No doubt about it. But Rob never normally gets mad at me. He never ever gets upset with me. I just go hunting. <laughs> no, you don't either. He was upset with the garden at one point last last time. He well, was I wasn't upset. I was just a little agitated. Perturbed. Because it's, we're trying, to, you know, I, I like to, I, I play in a garden so that I know what's what and okay. I don't want to get things mixed and mingled so right. I know I got going to cross pollinate. Let me see. And, and that's where it, that's where it comes into. Oh, is, we'll keep you know, making videos, with, believe if, me. With us doing hot peppers and peppers in general, okay. you can't Wait, mix the, the two. The Wickershire part. Yesterday, my wife, Sharon, knocked out an American chop suey thing. It's better reheated the next day. True fact. Some things are better reheated. Some, better are, the next some day. Better, things are better reheated. But listen, let me, I have been at the vet office back and forth this week. Oh, oh, I hope Missy's okay. Oh, 12 years old. I hope she's okay. Sorry. Listen. Yeah, I, I like hot peppers too. I, 
I like hot peppers, they don't like me. I mean, I have acid reflux, so I gotta be careful how much I eat. No. So, uh, you know, I can't go crazy with it. Love your kitchen. Oh, my kitchen ceiling installed. Um, we got that from, Rob did that. Uh, Rob put it Menards. in. Menards, we put it in Menards. Can you see it better? Menards, that's when we redid this house. I've always wanted to, what, oh, hold. Oh, no. I shouldn't have done this. Hold on a minute now. There, okay, all right. Rob, we got the ceiling at Menards and Rob put it in. It took about a month for the ceiling to come in and this was pre-corona. This is something that- Oh yeah, we it quite a bit for- I've for always wanted a kitchen amazing. ceiling like this, so- Smelly cat food. This is our like forever home, knock on wood. Um, no, don't eat So uh, we just went for it. I'm like, we, we just went for it. Now listen. Rob thinks I'm crazy. I've been buying seeds. No, no way for this. Oh yeah. I got these pots. These pots are at um, the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree has all these pots, and they're like a dollar for like all these starter. Oh crap. Billy Sam tripod. Let's be professional. <laughs> There's nothing professional about us. You should know that. And she that's had the her thing. I've got three tripods oh, around her. She won't use any of them. In a mass. <laughs> I hope she's okay. I do eventually use tripods. Okay, th this is from an Ohio seed company. I thought we would try that. So I've got all of those. And then I have all of these from last year. It's just a mess. Sure, go ahead. What? Uh, you want to drop a link. Yeah, okay. drop drop whatever link you want. I don't care. You want to drop links? How about it? And then I bought all these seeds. So I have all of these. I have all this stuff. All of and that, all of these. and all of these. We have seeds. I have well, this year we're going to do a lot of stuff at my dad's house. We're going to plant corn, but we're also going to plant some other things with it. Uh, it's going to be out in, the, out in the woods, so I mean, the deer are going to get a lot of it. We're planting um, the hugs and loves the guys that need it outdoor. Okay, all right, Peggy. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to plant some pumpkins and some squash and something around to, as decoys uh, to keep the deer away from watermelon. the Watermelon. We're going to plant watermelon. Yeah, watermelon. I don't know how it will grow or our season or long enough, but... The deer seem to like the beets. At least they did here because they ate all of them. Yeah. Leaving you on the computer. Okay, leave us on the computer for the puppies. Let the puppies will watch us. Oh, she's leaving us on her computer. Well, you really want to do that? You really want to do that? <laughs> Okay. But yeah, we're going to plant some stuff over there. Um, well, I found, we found out last year that cucumbers just didn't grow good over here. Well, I, I think it was just a bad year for all of them. I think it was just a bad Everyone year. Everyone had a bad year for, yeah. for cucumbers. This year, we'll hopefully get a little better luck at it, but we're going to add some new, add some new beds yeah. too this year, so we're going to help get some more stuff going. So we're going to... Hi, Lori. Hi, oh, hi, Lori. How are you? Lori, I just watched some of your videos, your driving videos. Your mom is the cameraman. I did just watch those. Thank um, you, Mary. Heavy running to grab a coffee, but listening. Okay. That sounds good. Oh, jeez. The cat's are playing. The cat just We're jumped up chicken. here. So we do have a lot of seeds to grow. And Lori, I just left you a comment. Your garden has inspired me. This year, I want to add more color. If you guys haven't seen Lori's gardens, go back and watch like some of her older videos. Her gardens are very, very pretty. They're they're just the colors. I like the colors. So Rob doesn't know this yet, but I want to put some color in the garden. Well, last year Surprise. the the boxes that I got for work and all the different things we had it was no, kind mom, of a, a last not. minute thing. It wasn't like it was a planned thing. We wanted to paint them and clean them and get them all nice and neat. We just put kind of put them all together because this listen, is our first year here, of gardening listen, at this house. Mary said, Michelle, promise you will remember to make tags on all the plants. I promise that I'll try to remember that. I, I will. I came prepared, have my coffee before I joined. I'm going to go make coffee now. I think I'd, but I might need to go blow my nose. Mom's not a good cameraman. Color twin, is twin fabulous. Yeah. Hi, Twinbrook Acres. Hi, Twinbrook Acres. Hello to you. But I want to add colors and she's planting clover on the side yard too we ought to look into doing that she's detracting the deer and bigfoot and all the things from her garden so she's putting well, clover this over. year we're, we're gonna add Hold we're on, gonna i'm gonna add make two coffee. more beds and my game Wait. plan is to add two, two more beds next to what we have already 
Now give us four beds total, four raised beds, and I'm going to try to fence in all the whole area, not just each individual bed, because we do have deer and critters around here that like to eat. You know, stuff. Lori has a compost pile too that keeps fence. That would be a fantastic thing for us to hook into at some point. At some point, we got a, we got compost on the on the end of the one bed. I, I maybe put an elephant on the other. A lot depends on lumber this year. Um, no, hers is a, it's it's plastic. Well, I know. Look I on the look. You're missing your compost. Lumber. Wonder she might have gotten that. We're doing a flower bed to my daughter. Oh, you have to do. Powerfly can say coffee and <laughs> wish me luck. I'm going to plant this year. Mary, you're going to do fine. You're going to do fine. Do good. Yeah, with, 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 the, with the price of lumber from last year, from all the things, it's gone through the roof. It's even, even hard to find lumber. If you find it, you can't afford to buy it. So it depends on what I run into when I get ready to do all this. Another month I've been looking for lumber and looking for different things and give me an idea of what I, what I want to do. I actually talked about going up to my dad's house and getting some logs, cutting some six or eight inch logs, 12 foot long, and just make a bed out of those. If you look on Amazon, they actually, they have galvanized raised bed gardens you could buy on Amazon. I showed him those. I'm like, we gotta look into something like that. But he wants it. We oh we we caught deer on our security cam outside. Yeah, we have camera. We have deer out here in the, in the yeah, right the right around the neighborhood. Green. Of course, I can't hunt them because it's too close. You know, I can't really shoot anything in here. Rob, don't read that out loud. Good luck. Okay, okay. Michelle, they roast bird toes. They beat. <sighs> uh, yeah, deer. I mean. We have deer all over this area. That's what, oh. we're here for what we what we plant and where we plant it. Listen, look at Twin Brooks. Twin Brooks. Rob just mentioned that yesterday because we have a maple tree outside that he wants to do that with. Well, here's the thing: this tree we have out next to the house is actually lifting the house. It's it's so big and so close to the house, the roots are lifting the house. I gotta I gotta take it down. It's gonna be down here in the next few years. So. Maybe. It's huge. I mean, it's huge maple. It's it's three, four foot diameter or so. Probably four foot diameter around, maybe more. And I, I talked to Michelle. I said, I'd like to just tap it one, at least one year anyhow, maybe two. So we get some sap out of it. When we bought our house, that tree was tapped. They had a tap in that tree. When we were looking at the house, the house they had a tap on it. Well, yeah. when we moved, they took the tap. They took the tap with them. So... And you could see where the syrup was running down yeah. the tree. So it wouldn't be hard to do. But and like I said, I love maple syrup. Do I really want to make maple syrup? I mean, I still have my loofah. We still have to make a loofah video Maple yet. syrup is, is, is easy to make, but it's time consuming. It just has to take so much sap to make a little Super bit of Super silver or, or did you identify it? Really? It's a, or it's is it a, sugar? It's a maple. It's a sugar syrup. maple. You can put a few taps in them on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's huge. It's, it's huge. It's a huge tree. But then then we have to figure out what to do with the 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 sap. Well, I, I got a video cutting off some of the limbs of uh, last year that's on that tree. You think give me I give an idea how big it is that's on there. I didn't think about putting. You can put a couple taps in it. Oh yeah, easy. Oh, so now I guess we're gonna probably end up tapping the maple tree. That's your thing. That that's your thing. I don't want any part of well, that. Well, we gotta do it soon because I know some uh, some some taps or people wanna, got taps on the trees already. How did you two meet? How did we meet? We went to school together. Yes. He. This was my first boyfriend, and I was his first girlfriend we met in, in seventh grade. Seventh and eighth grade, and then we dated for about a year. We, yeah. we really like dated seventh and eighth grade okay we're, 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 we're in the same town we're both in the same town but in sixth grade sixth grade elementary schools so and then he dumped two me elementary schools. for a girl with hairy legs and they had uh they had two, ele two, ele two elementary schools so we went to separate schools elementary in seventh grade we came together in uh the junior high yeah. seventh eighth grade that's where yeah. we met so then um, we both married different people and that didn't work out and got divorced and through Facebook about what, oh, no, seven no. I, years ago. Oh no, I want to do all the stuff outside. 
between we the fire or the government or whatever. I'm, I'm do all the surf outside. It's mess, just messy and stinky. Hey, and there's a place figure up, out what are you? There's a place up north. Um, well, it broke my heart. That basically it's, it's a lot of a lot of a lot of maple syrup things up there, and they do a lot of processing. They have different ways of doing it. The old-fashioned way, putting the rocks in there, putting the rocks in, putting the rocks in. And then they do the new ones with all the tanks and How about, will it go in the instant pot? Can we make syrup in the instant pot? Is that a thing? Can we put that stuff in the instant pot? I don't pot? think you do that. Because you would have to boil so much out of it. So, Rob, <laughs> Sasquatches, yes. Yeah, every part like of the thing I'm going through. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Rob broke my heart, but he's making up for it now. I make them every day, make them for it. Yeah, yeah, he does. No, not really. My, my, my honeydew list. Yes, dear. Do I, where's the list? I don't know. <laughs> where's the, tell me where the list is. Like, How many times do I ask you to do something? Uh, there's quite a few. He, he has there's projects he thinks of on his own. I don't have to ask him to do anything. Not very many. Well, if I try to do something, I, I, I want her input so that I yeah. don't write. Well, he did. See this door over here? Go, go, go slide that door. See that closet over there? We have a, a, a barn door on it. See, Rob put that barn door there. And the dog knows how to open it. Normally when the grandkids are here, I would put the dog in there, but the dog can push that open. So this morning he put, um, a magnet well, on it. Oh, he went and got, I to do. I wait wanted, a minute. But, he went and put a really strong magnet on that door so the dog could open it. So we put the dog in there, and what do you think happened? The dog opened the door. So then he had to put a chain on it, and I asked for a chain first. Well, there's two things I want to, I want okay. to be able to do. Your One turn. is to keep the dog in there when we yeah. have the kids or company or things going on. We don't want dogs involved. So that's that's one of the reasons why we did that. Yeah. Plus. The cats, I love my love the cats. They're fun. They have they have they're they're, they're, they're large. Lori's world. They, her mom has a black night, cat. We have a black cat like your mom's and cat. And he is nuts. And it's insane. This cat at night just runs the walls. It's it's literally, literally will run up the walls. He's on my computer desk, batting something around. And yeah. On, and on the floor, and then around the floor, he goes. So I have to lock him out of the bedroom. I have to push all push all the animals out and close the door. Yeah. But the cat can open it. Yeah, it's crazy. So now I put a magnet on the bottom of it. It's like the it. black cat from hell. Where is that cat? Come here. here. So I put a magnet on the bottom, strong enough that he can't just pile up with his, with his paw. Come here. Come here. But it wasn't strong enough to keep the dog nose from opening it. So I had to put a chain on the outside so we actually locked the dog in. I didn't want to put a, 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 a hasp or a thing inside and out because do, I don't want to do all that. There he is. This is See his cat. eyes? You can I tell. Think. Look at Look at the people. Look at the people. Look at this. This is really, and it's this huge. Is yes, this is this a big cat, cat probably, uh, it's huge. It's the head, look how big panther. his head is. Do you see how big his head is? What Rob keeps saying it's part panther. Get, I, I get think the he other is. cat and show I think him how. he is. Come here, buddy. Oh, I still can't breathe, you guys. Well, here oh, here. Come here. Come here. All right. Whoa. All right, look at the difference. See how little this cat is, how tiny it is? compared to this <sighs> there it okay boy. welcome to our life these cats okay who's the dog <sighs> oh my gosh yeah, I he's big. this cat hair there's cat hair all over this house i have to I, we run the sweeper often in fact i just shaved the dog because mostly it's <laughs> dog hair that we we clean up so I shaved the dog because I would rather. Well, the dog's a dog's a labradoodle, so it doesn't shed as bad as a lab does. Cat hair, but it does best. shed. Yeah, it does shed. Well, I shaved the dog, and I really didn't make it pretty. I just wanted the hair off. The dog doesn't go anywhere, and I really don't care. So we, I should show you what it looks like. My grandson came over, and he's like, "Mommy, what happened, what happened to the, to the dog? what happened to the dog?" Do you want she to shave it? A couple, a couple, three times a Come year. here, Macy. Come here. Oh, it doesn't look as bad as it did. It's filling in, but there were lines all over it. It just looked, it looked pathetic. Come on over here. Get it, it, it really did. Come on. Come on. 
Get up see here. if you could see the lines. Come on, there you go. Say hi to the people. Can see? you see the lines on it? Here's a pet. <laughs> see all the lines? I did that with a it, poor dog. It was, uh, yeah, she's a good girl. Huh? She was balded. I, I really didn't care. <laughs> Number one rule all animals belong outside. This is why I built myself a human dog house. Come on, back <laughs> up. <laughs> funny. Come on. Funny. Come on. Our cat was outside, the big cat, the black no, cat, that black cat, I haven't, it's gotten out once. We really haven't let that out yet. So the other cat, the old cat, he's like into our outdoor. He'll come back when he knows where the food's at. Yeah. He goes outside, goes to the bathroom, he plays, he comes when he, he gets tired, he wants to eat and come back in. He knows where the food's at. Listen, the you guys hear, so listen, my voice is going, you hear my voice is going. This is what I deal with from the corona with my lungs now. The voice goes and I... I can't, it, it's just all the things. Yeah, it comes and goes. All the things. And I get tired, I get tired so, so easy now. Really easy, in fact, I was gonna, I told Rob, I said, we're gonna go live, and he said, that's gonna wear you out. I'm like, it might, but I don't know. I don't know, I did a cooking video. It's coming up, I think Friday, Friday. I made stuffed chicken and I had severe brain fog during the video. The whole video was me with brain fog. And then I lost my voice and all the things. And I'm, I showed it to him and I said, should I just delete this or put it up? Well, so I, we're, I got we're, a new we're, phone we're gonna and put it, it, up. It, it basically is it, a nice phone, it's a nice camera. And it's a... Uh, it yeah, Billy Joe, I had it. I had, it's on 4K. I had back in December, um, COVID pneumonia in December Double and my mom got it my mom had it first and then about three days later I started the symptoms and all of it yeah her mom her, by the time her mom was tested and found out she yeah. had it she was feeling I, she I was had feeling it the symptoms. and then um my mom is just coughing right now she she's coughing a lot and I just can't breathe it's to the point now where I don't, I'm hoping that I'm feeling better because I love being in the garden and I don't know if I'm going to be able to spend that much time in the heat in the garden. I might be a nighttime gardener. Rob might have to put me big lights up out there so I can go in the garden for big flashlights. The biggest thing is, is we don't want our water after dark. That's what we ran into last year. We're watering too late. Yeah. And it, it, it's getting a lot of... Uh, we had septoria leaf yeah, spot septoria on leaf our spot, tomato like plants. All over our plants. So we're going to plant the tomatoes in a different garden this year, not in, just to get them away. And we're not going to plant so many tomatoes because in order for me to can tomatoes, we have to, we have to plant a lot of tomatoes. So we are just going to well, last year our plant tomatoes tomato we want to eat. Do real great. Which yeah. could be a septory leaf spot was part of it. Yeah, that, it, they and were bad. Was, uh, a yeah. weird year for tomatoes. So we're just gonna plant tomatoes that we want to eat, like the big boy tomato that you want to yeah. you want to put on up. your um your your like hamburgers or sandwiches Slice or something. Tomatoes. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Yeah, make sure you, the tomato leaves do not touch the soil. Last year I I kept them cut. This year I will really really keep them. I'm really gonna watch this year because I, I don't want to go through that again. When I was a medical carrier. Oh, I know. I was watching your videos when you were transporting that. Some of the, I, yeah. Yes, I, Billy Joe, I watched you transport those. I, I, that's how long I've been watching you, Billy Joe. I, mean, I watched you transport. He was transporting the tests. He drove a, a like a medical van that transports things. Yeah, I watched that. Yeah. I was hoping you didn't ever get it. Well, I don't know if I've had it or not. I've had some of the, the symptoms. I don't think Rob, you have that, had uh, it. You would, if had, you had this, but you would it's know. Very minor, very minor. Yeah. So I'm hoping that I don't get it. If I do, I hope it won't be a. Symptom. When I had it, Rob never got it because he he never got sick. And when my mom had it, my dad never got sick. And my parents are both 80, and my mom recovered quite well. My dad never got it. Now my parents, the neighbors, got that and. Our long time, long time loving, caring neighbor, he, he passed away from this. Yeah. He, him and his wife got it. He, 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 got out, he got through the COVID part of it, but the after, the after. See, Billy Mary's been watching you too. After effects he couldn't get over. Yeah, so this is, it's hard. Some people brush it off. Yeah, Rob is one of them. Luckily, listen, we are so lucky because 
when I, whenever I get something because I have the chronic fatigue and the fibromyalgia, it, it reacts twice, three times as hard as it normally should. Right. And I, it's just taken me that much longer. We've had guys at work who've had it both ways. They've had Scary really, really rough. When it's unknown, the ones yeah. that just basically got a few sniffles and no fever. None of them had a fever. I mean, one guy had yeah. never had a fever. Had a cough. I never, I never had a fever. Um, felt like I never a really had a cough either. Back to normal. Yeah. Uh, he was fine. The other ones were off for months, yeah. trying to recover from it. But I behind it. this behind your where the camera's sitting here, I have a plethora of medication. Yeah. You see that right there. That if you if anybody ever gets this, this stuff right here has worked the best for me. Use it's been it, it's helped me breathe the best. The, this yeah, and I have inhalers and and all the things. And there, Mucinex has a this has elderberry syrup in it. I didn't yeah. I didn't know they had that, but yeah. that's what. And then I've got like inhalers and behind you sitting behind there. It's just my area. Fibromyalgia is a disorder carried by widespread muscle fatigue, memory loss. Yes, yes, it is. Lesson. Oh, yeah. So if you're ever watching my videos and it's like, Michelle, you're out in the left field. I am. I really am. <laughs> now and you know why. Now, now you know why I say poor Rob all the time because uh, my brain fog and memory loss is terrible. We ended up behind you. I don't know if you could see it back there. We, I, I made a video. Uh, on the yeah, finger. I made a video about that. I put a calendar like a, with a whiteboard on there that we, Rob writes me notes or I write down things that I have to do now because I just don't remember. And you hear my, well, I'm not sick. This is just all the after crap of COVID that I just can't, I can't shake. Yesterday, I slept all day long. Yesterday, it was like my the air touching my skin hurt. She, she changed clothes like nine times. I yesterday. mean, she just puts the shirt on, wears it for like yeah. two minutes, says, I can't wear this shirt, yeah. it bothered my skin. So she changed and put another one on. And she went through like five, like five sweaters in like 20 minutes time. Yeah, I did. The air, it was just the air touching my skin. The it, air and the it, fabric it and burned. Just all the things that- It, it just burned. Yeah. So yeah, whoever if you have fibromyalgia and chronic, I'm really sorry that you have to deal with this. I was starting to feel much, much better, like because I had back surgery too a couple of years ago. I had and I have neck fusions, and so I have extra pain on top of that. And it took me a good year to recover from my back surgery, and I had that what three years ago. I had a um, rod put 18. in my spine. Yeah. yeah, and so it took me that long to get to, to get to feeling better, and it was like the beginning of last year, like through the summer, I was well, finally what, starting with, to. With the chronic fatigue, that's what kind of spurred Cough. the uh, the the surgery to happen originally, because she got bad spots in her in her spine, and when the chronic or the fibromyalgia acts up, the muscles in that area pull tight, which this? pulls everything. Twist it, and it. Uh, that's my thing. I just bought. The cat had it. Um, it, it. It pulls the spine out of place, which causes more pain. So it became quite an issue, and it kind of one feeds the other. And then, uh, well, even with after the surgery, are we it's boring still you guys? Of, Sorry, are we boring um, you guys? After the surgery, it's still the same way. As those muscles are still pulling. You know, you're pulling on a rod instead of on a, you know, a broken disc. Yeah. So. That's my life. Welcome to my life. All right. Are you ready to get off here? Yes. Because we um, we need to get ready and go pick up my parents. And he's I, I, he was doing something when I was... Oh, no, not at all. Doing the lettuce and spinach type. We're talking about Potting getting a greenhouse this year outside. Just start the plants in. But I haven't, we haven't not trusting Mars. Not. There's no green in the house here yet. Rob wants to put a greenhouse here. He wants to... With our growing season, skinny it's, dip. No, we it's should. so short that Let's it's you almost have it. to have something ready to plant as soon as you can plant. You were cleaning the kitchen. I, I finished. I finished. I put all the but you know the dishes away. I did that. My twin, my, my, my twin brook acres. We're eliminating boy. Yeah. Uh, Rob, was, Rob's been wanting to do that uh, over here. I have this this um this rack over here. 
see the rack? I don't know if you can see it all there. I have um, plastic and things like that that last year I made that greenhouse and I'm going to do that again this year. We have grow lights that I'm going to put in there and I'm going to plant all my little my little seed friends. Oh, your, start, your starter yeah. seeds over there. And, and probably maybe, maybe labeled them. We'll see. Yeah. Our mystery victory garden is kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and we did find out what's eating our beets. Remember last year something was eating our beets? Well, the deer, we've got deer on camera. We have outdoor cameras facing around our house. And, and we picked up six of them going through the yard. Six or five or six of them going through the yard. We've, we've had, actually, there, there have been as many as 14 deer out there at one time. Uh, here, Are you asking us where we're at? We're in Ohio. A few a few weeks ago, I we're in northeast Ohio. Found deer tracks in the front yard, so I went back, started doing, checking my cameras, and at two thirty in the morning, there was fourteen deer across the corner down here. Yeah. Seven went in front of the house. Seven went behind the house. We're in um, we're about in forty five minutes south of Lake Erie on the on the yeah, PA. We're about an hour, about an hour, 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 hour south of Cleveland. On the PA line, we're yeah we're right down in there. Wish I could do a rack in my head, but the cat. Oh, you know what? The cats got into it. That's why I had to get the plastic. I like go to the dollar store. The, and the black cat will eat anything that was, is on the counter. Yeah, she go, had a spider plant. She was going to water in the sink, and the cat ate it. Yeah, the cat. The cat <laughs> ate. Oh shoot! The cat eats everything. Everything. Built my coffee. Uh, we we had to cover the uh, the thing up really well because the cat could get up in there yeah. and eat the plants, eat the starter plants. Go to the dollar store and buy plastic. That's what I did. I bought that painter's plastic, and then I bought um, a shower curtain, like at the dollar store. And I was able to wrap it around that so the cat couldn't get into it. We do a meetup in the fall. Yeah, we all should. You weren't too far from Route 80. You're State 80. Are we? Where's 80 at? Um, Isn't this Town. 11 like right out here? Austin Town. Route 11, we're right out here. We're close to Kent State University, not the main campus, a branch. There's a branch over yeah, there. There's a branch. We're really, really close to that. I know, Mar I want to go to Mary's house and I would like to ride a horse. Mary said I could ride her horses because they're <laughs> gentle and I, it, it wouldn't hurt me. We're not far from Mary. At Duncan now, getting some donuts. Yeah, we, we had some yesterday. Or we could we could hit Mary's house in a day. We could drive up there, and then see her chubby little those little horses. Oh, they're so cute. Our two cats are old and young. I think the older cats probably yeah. Be what, person, what near a ten? Mary, I, I would like to. Year. I really would like to do that this summer. Macy, like take come a weekend here. and come up that way. I really would. <laughs> We, don't eat, we can do a video or not do a video. It doesn't matter. I would just like to come visit you. Um, let's see. Once we build a vacation cabin, I can. That would be fun. Thirty acres oh, of yeah. Everglades. Yeah, that that would be a lot of fun. That to come meet all you guys down there. And that's another thing I want to. I want to go down and see Angie at Life and More Reloaded. Well, we talked about going down. And she see, is very very close to La Lazy Acres. Yeah, we, and see, we plan on seeing Lazy Acres last year. Yeah. And then the COVID thing hit, and then, of course, we, we had a granddaughter coming in at about yeah. the same time. Yeah. Our granddaughter was born right about that time everybody had that little Yeah, meeting. so we, we didn't want to take any chances as far as catching anything or being around people or whatever, not being able to see the baby and just the whole thing, you know. And then, of course, oh, she got sick. Billy, you need to put in an area for Joy's, her travel trailer. You need to do that. There you go, Joy. He may, he may. But yeah, I would like to come, I, I I really would like to do that this summer, just come meet up with everybody. How to, three hours to get to Glen and Naples. Okay. All right. I, I knew you weren't far from them. You're probably five, six, seven, maybe seven hours from us, maybe. Yeah. We, we would probably drive it in two days just because I can't sit in a car very long. So we might make like a two-day trip out of it and come down there. And... Oh, Mich everybody say hi to Michelle Smith. That's my granddaughter, Haley. Hi, Haley. Hi, hey. How are you? Haley, I told him that you called me yesterday and you described me as, as the lady with the puffy hair. I like <laughs> that. I like the 80s. I'll always have puffy hair. Puffy hair. Well, it's funny. It was, it was, she was excited because you, you, oh, you were on Google. Oh, there's Roland. 
Roland and his son, they're out driving. Good luck, son. Good luck to you. You're taking your test. Good luck. All right, are you ready to get off here? Yes, I'm I ready can't, to finish I just the, can't uh, talk anymore. The truck and uh, put everything away and. All right. Oh, Lori, I don't know if you're watching, if you're listening or watching, but if you are, do you remember we were in your live and I um, bought a cat tower? I, I bought a cat tower like right in your live because my cat was driving crazy, driving me crazy. Well, I got it and put it together. And I think Wednesday of a video of just me put trying to put that dang on thing together. Our cat doesn't like it. Well, he does, just doesn't like I, I just want to, like I just want to tell you, the cat does not care for the thing. The other night, I'm, I'm sitting by the chair. Oh, there, thank you, Heavy Metal Chef. The, thank you so much. The, the, my dollar donation. That was nice backwards, of you. batting at the thing, so she look, plays with it once in a while. Look at that little icon. That's cute. Oh, Heavy. thank you. Yeah, thank That's you. That's cool. I like it like Thank icon. you so much. But the cat would rather still scratch on the, on the deck oh, on yeah. chair. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't get it. So I actually even put the thing over by the chair where the cat scratches and, and kind of moved it out of the way. I did put catnip all over it. I put oh, yeah. catnip on it. I did all the things. I did all the things. And I'm going to make me a wooden um, scratching post uh, for the house because the yeah. old cat will go outside and scratch on the on the wood outside, which is fine. I mean, I don't care. It's yeah, fine. the wood. There's a wood post right outside the door, and the bigger cat goes out and, and I mean, scratches immediately right on that. Out the door and watch this uh, on the claws, and then he <laughs> does this thing. So I would make something for in the house. Maybe the old cat would teach Boy, the, the young throw cat. Some cat do on. I did that. I threw the catnip. I put cat treats on it. I did, and the cat just went and ate the treats off of it. And oh left. yeah, and I just tried. Around the house. I mean, literally, we're yeah, around the house. I'm gonna, I'll go get it because it's, it is, I even hung balls on the thing. Yeah, this cat would just come tear ass through the house like, like something's after him, <laughs> just because he can. I, I even put little ball toys on oh, it. Oh, yeah, got little. Isn't, isn't that cute, though? Maybe, I just bought, maybe it just doesn't like the color, I don't, I don't know. <sighs> Love you, too. Love you, too, Haley. So anyway, this video is coming. I put I put I I put this thing together. That was at work. Yeah, the cat hates it. So I don't know. Please do more lives. Oh, we will. Oh, we will. Uh, that's the thing is with with her uh, lung issues. It just goes stream yard. It wears her out so fast. You know why we don't do that at night? Because I do watch that at night. But by by the time they got they go live, I'm I'm exhausted. I'm just. I'm exhausted. Back, put it on the fridge. Cat will love it. It's on top of the fridge. That's what we need to do. That's where the cat hangs out up there. Cats are afraid of green. <laughs> then why would they make it in green and sell it to me? Why, why would they do that? Because I'm a sucker for the cactus? Is that probably... Probably. probably. She likes okay. cactuses. Give it time. Probably if I would take the chair out of the living room that he really likes, maybe he would scratch on that thing. Or climb the wall. I don't know what he would do. I don't know. He's nuts. The cat's nuts. All right, we're going to get out of here. I need to go lay down a little bit before we get the parents. I'm running out of steam. Okay, are All you right. ready? All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, everybody. For in. Thank you for the donations. Thank you very much. Yeah. Much appreciate it. I have beautiful eyes. <laughs> Yeah, they're blue. They're actually, my eyes are really pretty blue. My dad has pretty blue eyes, too. So does my grandma. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. My eyes are brown. That's all. Boring brown. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everybody. And we will see you next time around. Next time around. Yeah, maybe next Sunday we'll go live again. Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody, Bye, and all. thank you. Bye.